Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So today we are going to look at another medium level problem from Lead Code. It's been a while I have uh, done any problems from Lead Code. So the problem number is 73. It's a set matrix zeros. So given an M into N integer matrix, if an element is zero, set the entire row and column to zero. The problem seems to be pretty simple in nature, as you can see over here. So basically you are given with a matrix and the matrix has some values and wherever you get a zero, like you get a zero over here, right? So you set the entire row to zero and entire column to zero. So it will transform it into a matrix like this, the one over here, right? Similarly, for this case, if you see, we have a zero over here. So this entire row and column becomes zero and we have a zero over here as well, right? So this entire row and column becomes zero as well. So it will transform into something like this. So this part is completely filled with zero, right? So this is the problem all about. So we are going to discuss the solution and understand it in a lot more details. But as I always do recommend that uh, do give it a try yourself Do try to solve it just like a puzzle and then you can check out my solution. So let's uh, move over to the board and try to solve the problem and let's try and understand why this problem is um, tricky, right? So what happens over here? Let me create a matrix at first. So let's say this is the array that we have got the two dimensional array. So what we'll basically do over here. So if you think that what we'll do is we'll start traversing the array. And once we get a zero, we have to set the rows and columns to zero. So what will eventually happen is we will set these guys to zero. So let me put it with a different color. So it will look like this Started with I equals to zero and J equals to zero. And uh, now as I increment um, J becomes one. Now, previously we are here. Now we came over here. So now the problem is we don't know that it was initially zero or it has been set zero due to a row and column operation or not, right? This was initially not zero, right? It was having a different value just because this guy was zero. That's why we made this to zero, right? So that is the problem all about like we have to keep a track. There are various ways to solve this one. So we'll pick up a very simple approach. So what we'll do basically is we'll uh, we will scan through all the elements of this matrix without changing them. So let me restore it back to its original um, values. So this was the original value, right? And we know these are the places where we have a zero. So let me underline them. So these are the places we have the zeros. So we are going to pick up this i and j, the pair, the index pair, right? And we are going to store this pair in some data structure. Let's say it's a list right and this list is going to hold a pair and this pair is having two values i and j and we are going to store like 0 0 as my first pair so let's say this is my object so let me denote it with this the second element would be 1 2 and uh, again the third element would be 2 0 and the fourth element would be 3 what is it? One, two, three, three, three. Now, since we have taken this value, so what we'll do is we'll iterate the list, this list that we have created, and we will change the row and order to zero. Right. So this could be one approach. There could be several other approach. What else you can do is you can keep a track. You can tr keep a track. Is the row zero or is it a column zero? And you can solve it that way also. You can set a flag kind of true and false and you can uh, solve it based on that. I will leave that up to you. I have solved it in both the ways. So what we'll do is quickly we will go with this approach wherein we'll store all these indexes wherein we have a zero. And we are going to leverage on that. So that will make the problem pretty simple. So what we'll do is in the first scan, we will iterate over the entire array, which will give me an order of MN, right? And next time, uh, we are going to get the values from the list. In the worst case, everything could be zero. We can have a array something like this as well. In that case, what will happen is uh, uh, that iteration over the list will also cost me order of mn so order of mn plus order of mn so it's going to be order of mn only and uh, we need some extra storage over here 
so the storage would be again we have to we might end up storing everything in our list so it will be order of mn but if you go with this approach over here what will happen is your storage will uh, be at order of one but your runtime will still remain at order of mn because anyways we, you need to scan the entire array right so if i touch all the elements that will cost me order of mn we cannot reduce on that so let's head over to the lead code and try to solve this problem okay so we are here in the lead code and uh, let me adjust it for you guys so that you can have a clear view okay so what we are going to do is pretty simple so we are going to create a class we talked about a pair right so we'll create a simple class not nothing much over here just we have the i and j so that we can track it right and now what we are going to do is we need a list of pair the, the class that we have created so let's call it pairs and let it be a array list right and uh, then we have the simple loop so we are going to scan through all the elements so it's uh, pretty much the simple loop that you you guys use for iterating a matrix right or a two-dimensional array so i'm using the same thing over here And uh, whenever I see that if my matrix ij is a zero, then we are going to put that index with us. So we are going to add it to the, sorry, I wrote it as pairs, it's pairs. It will be pairs.add and we are going to add this new pair. So I have created a constructor also, that's for the simplicity purpose only. So I am going to say that I am going to create a new pair of i and j. That's it. So we have got everything now. Now what we are going to do is we have picked up all the elements. Now what we will do is we will go through this pair. What's wrong? Why I'm writing Paris? Can't even go there now, right? Okay. So what I'm doing over here is I'm going to get the pairs out from this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate row and column. So I'll keep the row constant and iterate over the column starting from zero to the length. And then I'll keep the row constant and iterate over the rows, keeping the column constant. Okay. So uh, let's do a few things over here for simplicity. Uh, it will look good also. And so how many rows do I have? I have matrix dot, uh, dot length rows and I have n calls equals to matrix zero dot length assuming that it's not going to be empty and uh, i guess they have confirmed it over here so here are the constraints so they have clearly said that m equals to matrix length and n equals to matrix zero dot length one less than or equal to m and n less than or equal to 200 that's the constraint we have um, the values could be uh, between minus 2 to the power of 31 to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1 so here it says that you can do it with order of mn is probably a bad idea the one that we are doing there is an improvement to order of mn and but there is a good solution which is a constant time solution so you can target for that i am not going to discuss that solution over here i have given enough of hints for you to leverage on that so if i show you from my submission part um here is one of the solution that i did which is order of one so if you see over here that we have uh, done it in 93.29 and uh, uh, I have not been using any extra space over here. So if you see over here, I have not created anything. But I will leave the solution um, up to you guys. I'll create a video on this later. I know I have given, shown you, you can pause and see it. But I'll uh, keep it to your honesty that you'll give it a try to solve it. So let's go back to the problem that we have been solving. And let's uh, get it done. Okay. So we have taken the rows and the columns. And uh, what I'll do is I'll can change this guys I don't need to use this anymore I can just say where is my mouse yeah I can just say rows and columns I don't need to write all this over here also I'm going to do pretty much the same thing over here so I'll start iterating over this array so what I'll do is from i equals to zero I will start and i will go all the lengths to the pulse and um, i plus plus okay and uh, what i'm going to do now is i am going to change the pairs so the element that we take 
took out in pair i am going to keep the i constant and i am going to vary the um the sorry pair dot i is constant and uh, let's put the name as j it will make more sense to you guys so let's put it as j and uh, let's change it over here as well so what i'm doing is basically i'm keeping this constant and set and varying the j and setting it to zero and another okay i add and another similar loop that we are going to do over here is um, this time we are going to uh, start from zero and go till rows this time what i'll do is i will keep the name as i and what i'll do over here is i'll do pair dot j okay so you've got the concept right so what i'm basically doing is i'm keeping the row constant and changing the columns and um, i'm keeping the column constant and changing the rows so i'm setting all these values so yeah that's all that's pretty much it that's all i have to say about the solution right so what i'll do is um, we'll so yeah that's pretty much the solution that we are discussing over here that's a bad solution you can see over here they have said straightforward solution using o of mn right but i have uh, shown you the glimpse for the um other solution wherein we can do in a constant space but i'll do it later i'll leave it up to you guys to give it a try so let's run this code and see how it goes yep i am good at making mistakes you know so yeah it's um equals to zero perfect let's run the code and let's see what else i've done wrong yes i did wrong all these things will be matrix and they're not there matrix oh god what did i do wrong it's i it's punishment for copy wasting anyways um should work yeah it did runtime zero seconds let's do a submit and see how it goes yep we are one millisecond 93.29 percent memory usage is 40.65 mb less than 62.95 of all the submissions okay so i want you guys to improve on this part right uh, uh, then i am going to discuss the solution that i have created earlier though it's showing that uh, memory distribution is 15 percent but um, i really don't trust this uh, guys over here so i'll just uh, quickly show you that uh, i run it a couple of times we are going to have a better result let's take this and uh, let's try it and see like still we are getting the same result or not yeah but uh, do give it a try yourself uh, that highly recommended so i don't need this pair class for this um, i don't want you to look at the code so i'm just keeping it secret so let's do a couple of submit and see um, it should be close to 90 percent or so so let's do a submit though i don't trust lead code when it comes to evaluation sometimes because you can see that i have not created anything over here so yeah 97.23 percent so i'm going to discuss this solution sometime in the future but do give it a try yourself i have uh, given you a lot of hint about this that you are deleting the first row or not just keep a track of that uh, the way i have explained it over here so do give it a try do let me know what you think about it if you have any doubts or question please feel free to post it in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to discuss it with you guys and give my inputs for the same so yeah that's all from this video i hope uh, you guys liked it do let me know your thoughts about the video and um, see you guys stay safe take care and see you soon again Bye bye